Let's finish off this galaxy with the longest mission of this galaxy until we get the post game anyway. Where it's basically this on a much larger scale. Ah, oh, sea slide. This is why I hate you. I like I, I I legitimately hate this galaxy just for this. Not really this mission, but just the idea. I have to go across this entire island with a power up in a very inconvenient way. Uh, it's just I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I probably am overreacting a bit, but. I don't know, I'm just not a fan. I'm really, really not. Okay. So we are going to go back to here really quick. We're not going to aim at this planet, though. We're actually going to aim over here. To the Toad spaceship. And I think I can just grab this. Yeah. I think if I just go over here... Actually, you know what? Can I... Okay, there we go. Just want to get in that sling star, that's all. I'm done here now. Come and have a blast. You know what? I like that toad. He's silly, and that's what I like about him. He's silly and he makes... I don't know if that was necessarily a pun, but, you know. Come and have a blast out of a cannon. That kind of that kind of humor I do enjoy quite a bit. Kind of my guilty pleasure of humor, I suppose. I need that stupid... Koopa. Can I even throw Koopa shells as a bee? I can't even throw Koopa shells as a bee. And this is why Bee Movie is like one of the worst creations of all time. Jerry Seinfeld, why did you think that was a good idea? That didn't even give me anything cool either. Come on, is there anything up here? Maybe not. I know I did see a star around here, but I don't think it was there. I think it's probably up here, if anything. Actually, where does this go? Oh, come on! Why do you want to take me all the way back? That's annoying. And yeah, that's, that's like another thing I hate, because if you like take a launch star or a sling star, you'll be just like taken to like the other side of the planet when you probably didn't even mean to go over there. Okay, but I know there's a star up here. I think they showed it, like, at the very beginning of the level. Dude. Terran Tox is dead. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> you spiders do not have a leader anymore. Okay, there's Silver Star number two. Let's go over here now. Now, I want to say this will take us to the other planet. And I think I want to go there last, so I'm not going to go that way yet. Instead, I'm going to... Why does this take me back here? So stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's so stupid. There's like no point to going up there. When I want to explore the other way. Oh, there it is. Shoot, 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 shoot. Remember, if you're getting worried about running out of air, or not air, of your fly meter, just like mash the A button. Or, like, just don't hold it. 
Holding it's a surefire way to lose all of the meter. Okay. Who needs B Mario anyway? Okay. I do think I probably need to head back to the first planet though, because I need to hit, go to that water tunnel that was created. So I want to say that's where the last uh, Silver Star is. And it's a pretty safe assumption that the star is going to appear there too, so... You know, using logic, I guess. Not saying it's the greatest logic in the world, but... Seems like that would be a thing, considering it's in the middle of the area. And it's probably the most hidden out of all the stars. And we got stupid urchins, too. Okay, hello. Oh, hi, music notes. That's all it was for, too. If this was Dusty Dune Galaxy, that'd take us to a star, but no, this is not Dusty Dune Galaxy. Also... Hello. Yep. I knew you would do that. That's why I bothered you in the first place. And there we go. There's our star. Oh, come on! <laughs> I should have known. I should have known because damn it, C slide. Damn it, frickin' C slide. Actually, I think I can use this to get back to where it actually appeared. <laughs> Very funny game. Very freaking funny. I'm, I'm laughing my ass off. Well, whatever. Sea slide is done. Which, again, didn't really take me a long time to finish. It's just that last mission. But we can now uh, be happy because now we get to go to one of my favorite galaxies. If not my favorite galaxy, because I really love this one. We have Toy Time Galaxy. I like this galaxy just because I think it's really unique with how it's designed. It introduces a very controversial power-up, which I actually kind of like. And, uh... It's very infamous for a star mission in post-game. Which, I'll go ahead and say it now, I actually really like that star mission too, but I'll get into that later. So welcome to Toy Time. We got Mr. Toad riding the train. Aw, oh, he's excited. He's really excited about this galaxy. He's like, I've been waiting for you to get to this galaxy the entire Let's Play. And now we're here. Choo choo. I also like the music here, too. Just kind of like the little robotic mechanical version of the Mario Bros. theme, or Super Mario Bros. theme. Can I fall down here? I can't. I can, but it doesn't really do anything. Oh shoot! Okay, can't get on that. Ooh. 
hello. Oh, dang it! I thought I could have maybe made that. Okay, so... I can try this move again from a different area, or I could probably be smart about this and... Yeah, that's probably what I should have done. So about this controversial power I was talking about. <clears throat> Say hello to Spring Mario, which I understand why people hate this, because it's very, very hard to control when you're jumping and moving. But I don't know, I, I, I kinda like it. I don't know I don't know why. Like I, it's one of those things I can't really explain. I just I just don't really seem to have a problem with this as much. Now given, now that I say that, I'm probably gonna have issues with it due to the Let's Play curse. But like I completely understand why people do hate it. I just don't really hate it that much. It might be just because like it's like there's not really much of a punishment if you die. You just go back to the beginning of the section anyway. It's very easy to retry it. If this was a game like Sunshine or Galaxy, or once you did something, you had to restart the whole mission over, yeah, that would be extremely, extremely sucky. I'm not going to disagree with that at all. Because that would be awful, brutal. Awful, brutal, terrible, even. Probably didn't need to do that, but you know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. So yeah, we've already fought a Mecha Bowser before in Sunshine, now we're doing it again. But we're doing it in a more creative way. You know, instead of water rockets, or whatever the hell he had to do in freaking Sunshine. Why'd I do that? Damn it! I was not in a bad position, I just kind of choked. Okay, let's not be stupid about this. I don't want to get in the middle of the hand. I want to get just straight up on top of the hand. freaking bats here. These like toys in the attic or something, so there's bats around. And we're like disconnecting all of his parts too, which is just kind of funny how that works. But here we go. I think this is what people really, really hate about this mission. See, that's it! I have, like, zero problems with the spring. <laughs> I think it's because, like, you know that, like, it's gonna control awkward. And because you know that it does, you tend to be more careful about what you're doing. 
That's kind of what I feel like anyway about that. It's like, well, you talk about how terrible this is. I'll get, I'll just be careful, and then all of a sudden you do it, and it's like, oh, that wasn't so bad at all. Okay, heavy metal mecha Bowser. We got one. One is my high score. Thank you, game, for my one coin high score. Okay, so what do we got next? Uh, I believe the comet is in relation with the secret star, so we're not going to see that until we get the secret star. So we have Mario meets Mario. And no, this does not mean the shadowy doppelganger that we've fought already. It's talking about that giant pixel form of Mario. Here we go, Mr. Train Conductor Toad. Let's see what he has to say now. All systems are go! Why? Because I said so. He is just having fun on this train. Well, dude, while you're uh, having fun on the train, I'm gonna, you know, continue try saving the world. I do, I do believe this is the uh, secret star, but I'm gonna do the normal mission first because uh, I miss those star bits. Because yeah, we will have to get a hungry Luma to do this. I don't know how many you need. It might be good just to find out, regardless if I'm doing this mission or not. Jump, Mario, jump! Feels like the Got Milk commercial all over again. Okay, there's the Hungry Luma. I'm gonna go ahead and check with him before I move on. I wanna say it's 50. Yep. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, Luma, I just can't... I don't have any bits to spare. So we'll go ahead and do this Mario mission first. So literally, all we have to do is grab all the silver stars. Not really a lot to it. Uh, be careful of the... Wow! Come on! I got stuck! That wasn't even my fault. That's bullcrap. I got, like, stuck and wedged in between the two platforms there. Whatever, I got my life back. <laughs> okay, come on. There we go. There, because apparently these platforms are like, screw you, Mario. We're not gonna give you the ease of platforming here. The one thing I do hate about this is like the star transition and like you don't know like what exactly your body is going to do when you regain control of yourself again. Well, hooray, we got that taken care of. Uh, should I go ahead and do the other one, or... Yeah, I might as well. And by other one, I meant the uh, third mission, not the secret. I just gotta remember that when I get in that first launch star, that I need to be pay attention so I can get all those star bits that are in that, that heart formation. 
So we're going to go back once again and do the final mission here. The final regular mission anyway. We have Bouncing Down Cake Lane. So it's not just toys, we also have desserts and cake and all that other good stuff. Got another one of those bullet bill blasters though. Also, I love this part right here. Even going the other way is fun! Also, that toad almost knocked me off. What the hell? What the hell, toad? I know I've been giving you a hard time lately, but to be fair, you kind of deserve it. Okay, so bouncing down cake lane. Naturally, that means we're going to be using the spring power-up, which I know is not optimal, but... Safe to say, I think this is another good galaxy for Starbit grinding. Actually, you know what? I want to see if I can... I feel like I can. I feel like I can break this. And eh, maybe not. I mean, maybe not now, anyway. I feel like if I got a good jump, I could definitely break that, but eh. I've already broken so many things today. Oh great, now we're on an ice cream cone. No, not just an ice cream cone. Ice cream cone with ice cream on it. Okay, come on Mario. It's not hard. Actually, I want to check something. Why have I never thought to do this? I don't think I've ever done this before. I mean, it's just for star bits, probably, but... Still, I don't think I've ever done that before. Like, I never thought about trying that. That almost killed me, too. Okay, so now we have... Ah, uh, skating. This is not safe. Regardless if it's safe or not, I think I'm almost there. What are all those? Hold on. Oh. Okay. Oh! You know what? No. I want my coin. You fooled me. I didn't realize there was an enemy there. Come on. There we go. Where are we firing to? Okay, time for the boss. I believe. Maybe not. 
Well, first, before we do anything, I want to check and see what's over here. On this red spoon. Ooh, a secret. You know, I like secrets. And apparently walking right into a, uh, spiked pine cone. You know, this wasn't really that worth it. <laughs> Considering the one-up... I don't know, I feel like they should have given me, like, a rainbow star so I could get star bits or something instead of just a one-up. There we go. Jesus! What do you want from me? Oh, uh, what's my goal here? I feel like there's something I'm not really comprehending. I'm, I'm definitely missing something. Let me talk to the toad. I tried to blow out the candles with a big huff and puff, but didn't go... Okay, I have to blow out the candles. There we go. I mean, I guess that is true. Whenever you see candles on a birthday cake, you want to blow them out, so... Okay, here's Monty Mole Cannon number two. This one fires electric gumballs at you. And we have to use our good friend... Spring power up. Have to use it well, though. You can't use it stupidly. Oh, come on! I, didn't, I thought that was like a normal enemy that I could have skipped past, but not really. Also, hold on. Can I... Okay, no. I thought that was... Uh, a circle of star bits I could have gotten. <sighs> Damn it. This can this can be kinda tricky with Spring Mario though, to be fair. But it's once you get up there, if you just like hug the wall or hug the the candy jar. You should be able to do just fine. Oh, obviously you don't want to do that when he's sparking. Let me wait for him to be done here. And that's it. See, tour time wasn't really that long, I feel like. Had a few stupid deaths here and there, but... And I guess we do have the secret star on the comet still, so we're not quite done. We're getting there, though.